Ciao ragazzi, I'm Roberta Past Evangelist and today we're gonna make linguine. To prepare the classic linguine, you need uh, the white dough. So this is a dough made with the water and semola only. Check my previous video because I have already showed you guys how to create this simple dough. Now we can just straight go and shape uh, this amazing pasta. Remember guys, linguine are very particular and not like uh, spaghetti. So even the name, uh, the name linguina comes from lingua, from because it is flat compared to the spaghetto that is around so you need a special tool at the machine that will cut it for you the um, linguine so yeah it's uh, it's easy to find it's uh, something that you put on top of the machine which will help you to shape the perfect linguine and uh, we can start so we are going to set the pasta machine at number zero remember is the widest part of the machine be careful sometimes the machine they go to the opposite so the number nine will be the largest so make sure you start from the largest part of the machine i'm going to uh, just get a quarter out i don't want it to make it too difficult so you can stretch all the dough but uh, you really uh, need to be a little bit just a bit more expert to stretch so much dough uh, now I go straight into the machine guys as I say number zero it would be the first setting the pasta bianca it's much firmer than the pasta all'uovo so it is easier for us to uh, use the, the machine then I fold it in half and go again to number zero again guys I just stretch a little bit fold it again and number zero so guys, three times number zero in order to get a really nice consistency and then we can move to number one. I'm just going to add just a little bit of semola. I feel that the dough is a little bit too sticky and I don't want it to get stuck into the machine. That's the worst. Uh, let's go to number two. Then number three. Don't skip the number, I can see you. And then you can continue up to number five. Great, this was the last setting on the machine, number five. It's really nice uh, consistency. We are ready to shape. Let me show you the shape. As I say, it's very particular because it's flat compared to the normal spaghetti or bucatini. So that's what it makes the linguine really special. We love it to pair with the seafood. Uh, around all the coast in Italy, we normally do with uh, linguine alle vongole, linguine alle cozze. So it's all the seafood that really uh, paired with this pasta, it makes a special dish. And that's why, guys, we haven't used eggs because most of the time the shape will be paired with the seafood. Now, what you can do is uh, you can leave it to rest. If the nest is too complicated for you, just leave it to rest on a wooden board probably you can spring if you think that they are just too soft you can put a little bit of semola and if in case you want to be you know that i like to show you guys if you want to really create a nice nest you simply do this way and then you leave it to rest again just to keep the shape guys yeah of course you can cook straight away uh, uh, or you can store it in the freezer don't store it in the fridge because it's a very uh, fresh pasta and it is always better to put it back in the freezer the pasta will last up to one month and you can cook guess what from frozen you don't have to defrost the pasta ragazzi linguine ready 
you have to just try at home and let me know how it goes. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more pasta. Grazie. Ciao.